morning students welcome to my second video of torudat's famous poem the lotus in my earlier video i had discussed the text with you and a little bit of the background torudat is a indian poet writing in english but expressive of the indian sensibility and that is why you will see the title of this poem what is the title of this poem the title of the poem is the lotus right all of you have heard about the lotus i am sure you, most of you must have seen it at least it is there in all, almost all the pictures uh, depicting the gods of the indian culture so lotus is there everywhere so you have a very fairly good idea of what the lotus is like now in this poem torudat has written a poem about the lotus about the importance of the lotus also i told you in the background the cultural significance of lotus it is a symbol of non attachment and purity it is also the national flower of india now in this poem let me just give you a brief background brief summary of the poem in this poem torudat says that once upon a time in the garden of uh, flowers uh the god of love came asking flora flora is the goddess of flowers okay so this is a conversation between the god of love and the goddess of flowers right now the god of love came to the to one beautiful garden in which many flowers were growing and the god of love asked flora the queen of flowers who is flora the queen of flowers so the god of love asked the queen of flowers to give him the best flower in the garden right god of love said to the queen of flowers give me the most beautiful flower that you have uh, in the poet says that from a long time there was a competition going on between the flowers in the garden some were saying what was the competition about the competition was about who is the most beautiful flower or which is the most beautiful flower in the garden some of the flowers had voted for rose some of the flowers had said rose is the most beautiful flower whereas some of the flowers had said no no rose is not so beautiful the lily is more beautiful the lily has a white color and it is more dignified and more stately in her appearance so the lily is more beautiful so there was a competition going on in the uh, the competition had been going on since quite some years since many years some of the flowers were saying rose is more beautiful some of the flowers were saying no no lily is more beautiful all right lily is i am sure you rose you have seen all of you and uh, lily also is a beautiful delicate white flower right so uh, rose and there was a competition going on and the, many of the uh, poets had sung about the beauty of the rose and the beauty of the lily also some some poets had sung about the beauty of the lily some poets had sung about the beauty of the rose so one day the god of love came to the flower of uh, 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 flora flower garden of flora and asked for a rose which was the uh, asked for a flower which was the most beautiful flower so uh, love came to let us look at the line the poem says the poet says the opening line of the poem is love came to flora asking for a flower that would of flowers be undisputed queen what is the meaning of undisputed undisputed means that over which there is no controversy that which is unanimously accepted that which everybody accepts right there is no uh, controversy there is no dissent there is no feeling of dissent so love came to flora asking for a flower that would be the undisputed queen unchallenged queen right unanimously queen of flowers the lily and the rose had long long been rivals for that 
high honor right what high honor what high honor is the poet talking about the poet talking the poet is talking about the high honor of the most beautiful flower the flower that would be the undisputed unchallenged queen right so there had been a competition going on between the rose and the lily so both of them had been rivals they had been competing they had been competing for this high honor of being the undisputed queen bards of power bards means poets singers singers of power had sung their claims had sung their claims right bards of power are the poets and the poets had uh, had written about the beauty of the rose and the lily and they had written about the the beauty of the lily so they had said what had those poets said bards of power are the poets the poets had sung about the beauty of the lily and what did they say they had said the rose can never tower like the pale lily with her juno mien juno mien means face now in my next video in the third video i will continue with the mean the third part of my video